Welcome to our Scoop Canada channel, where we bring you the contemporary insights into Canadian politics. Today, we're diving right into a debatable moment concerning Prime Minister Justin Trudeau as he's criticized for his disrespectful conduct in the Canadian Parliament. Join us as we unpack Trudeau's actions and their implications for leadership. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recently found himself in the spotlight once again, this time for an unusual interaction with the newly elected Speaker, Greg Fergus, during a session in the Canadian Parliament. Let's delve into the details. During a heated exchange, Trudeau responded to Findlay's question about military plane usage during a protest by calling it dangerously close to misinformation. The debate escalated into a shouting match, with Conservatives alleging that Trudeau dropped the F-word one. Deputy Speaker's response, Deputy Speaker Chris D'Entremont acknowledged the noise in the House and couldn't definitively determine what Trudeau had said. He urged all members to observe decorum and avoid disrespectful remarks one. Historical context, Trudeau's situation isn't unique. His father, Pierre Trudeau, faced a similar accusation in 1971 when he was accused of telling the opposition to F off in the Commons. Pierre Trudeau responded by asking journalists, what is the nature of your thoughts, gentlemen, when you say, fuddle-duddle, or something like that? Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney also faced allegations of using the F-word in the Commons in 1991. Trudeau's gesture occurred shortly after a controversy involving the recognition of a Nazi veteran during a parliamentary session. A video of Trudeau congratulating Fergus has gone viral on social media. In the video, Trudeau is seen winking at Fergus and then immediately biting his tongue laughingly to acknowledge his silly behavior. As the Speaker introduced Trudeau in the House as the Honorable Prime Minister, Trudeau humorously corrected him, saying very honorable and winked. Trudeau's playful wink sparked criticism online, with several users questioning the need for displaying such unprofessional behavior. Some even labeled Trudeau as a creep and a weirdo for the incident. Conservative Canadian online news magazine The Post Millennial went so far as to call Trudeau's gesture cringe and criticized it strongly. Greg Fergus, the newly appointed Speaker of the House of Commons, is the first ever black person to hold this position. His appointment followed the resignation of Anthony Rhoda, the former Speaker, over the Nazi controversy. The controversy arose when the Canadian Parliament invited a man who fought for a Nazi military unit during World War II to attend a speech by the Ukrainian President, Volodymyr Zelensky. The issue escalated, and Rhoda resigned after recognizing the 98-year-old Yaroslav Hunka as a war hero who fought for the 1st Ukrainian Division, which was known as the Waffen-SS Galicia Division, a voluntary unit under the command of the Nazis. Trudeau's wink, amidst this backdrop, has certainly added fuel to the fire, leading many questioning the appropriateness of his actions in the parliamentary setting. In the world of parliamentary debates, emotions run high, and language can be sharp. Trudeau's recent incident is a reminder of the long history of unparliamentary behavior by elected officials. In a current consultation of the Canadian Parliament, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau observed himself at the center of controversy all over again, this time for what can only be described as a bizarre and disrespectful year. As the newly elected Speaker of the House of Commons was being escorted to his seat, Trudeau changed into caught on digital camera winking at him in what many perceived as a mocking and condescending way. Trudeau's moves right away sparked outrage and condemnation from throughout the political spectrum, with critics branding him a weirdo and thinking his health for the workplace. Trudeau's conduct in Parliament displays a sample of vanity and pushes aside parliamentary norms and decorum. This brand new incident is just one in a long line of gaffes and missteps which have characterized Trudeau's tenure as Prime Minister. From his notorious blackface scandal to his dismissive mindset in the direction of opposition participants, Trudeau has continually validated a loss of appreciation for the institutions and traditions of Canadian democracy. Moreover, Trudeau's wink at the new speaker underscores broader concerns about his management style and man or woman. His cavalier attitude toward the solemn responsibilities of his office sends a troubling message to Canadians about his fitness for management. Trudeau's conduct in Parliament no longer effectively displays poorly on him as a character however it also undermines the integrity of the Canadian political device as an entire. 
Trudeau's defenders may attempt to disregard his movements as harmless or insignificant, but the truth is they communicate a deeper problem of character and temperament. A prime minister who winks at the Speaker of the House of Commons all through a formal intention isn't in shape to guide a country as diverse and complex as Canada. Trudeau's disrespectful conduct in Parliament is but every other example of his failure to uphold the consideration and integrity of his office. In summary, Trudeau's wink has become a topic of debate, with opinions ranging from amusement to strong disapproval. Regardless, it's clear that this unusual moment has captured public attention and fueled discussions about professionalism and political conduct in the Canadian Parliament. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's weirdo moment in Parliament is a troubling reminder of his disrespectful conduct and shortage of tints. Trudeau's wink at the new Speaker of the House of Commons reflects a sample of conceitedness and push aside for parliamentary norms that undermine the integrity of Canada Democra. As Canadians, we deserve higher from our elect lead sirs. Thank you for watching and live tune for extra critical evaluation. Do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share.